Masala Buzz. We bring to you the latest happenings from the world of showbiz. Today's top stories are Priyanka Chopra will start her own production house very soon. Once A.R. Rahman has finished with all his work, he will focus on production. Sanjay Dutt speaks about how Manita's tumor has really scared him. After acting and singing, Priyanka Chopra now wants to turn producer, we have learned. Apparently, the dusky beauty will set up her own production house by next year. In fact, reports about the same have been doing the rounds for a while, but Priyanka hasn't made any official announcement. Reportedly, the talented actor-singer wants to keep things under wraps because she fears her plans would get jinxed. Miss Chopra turns producer, she will have a tough time tackling her already tight schedule. But we think Priyanka will manage it quite fine. After all, she has succeeded. succeeded juggling between her acting and singing career as of now the very busy beatdown beauty has taken some time off from her work and is on vacation with her brother siddharth and mother madhu the gunday actor we hear will be back a day before new year's eve as she will be performing in chennai at an event kolkata ki sabse khoobsurat cabre dancer bikram aur bala ke kaale jismon ka gulabi dil Over the years, A.R. Rahman has won hearts with his beautiful music compositions. Even today, people tap their feet and hum his songs. Now the music composer won't restrict himself to music alone. We hear that he will be producing a Bollywood film under his company, YM Movies. Previously, his production company had produced two music videos for his composition, Infinite Love and Changing Seasons. <laughs> Rahman confirms the news of venturing into movie production and says once he is finished with all the work that's on his hands he will focus on production what more Rahman has himself written the story of the Bollywood film and the plot revolves around love and self discovery he adds that they are finalizing other details like the title and the cast there are two or three directors names they are considering right now very soon someone will be finalized they will announce it officially then ar rahman's music will be next heard in imp Tiaz Ali's upcoming film Highway. Well, we wish him all the luck for all his upcoming ventures. Keep watching this space for more details about AR Rahman's production. ऐसा लग रहा है कि मैं हूँ ही नहीं हूँ, जैसे कोई फिल्म चल रही हो और मैं देख रही हूँ. What's going on? Sanjay Dutt, who has received parole for the second time because of his wife Manita's ill health, made it home on December 21st. A very frail-looking Sanjay met the media below his building, Imperial Heights. Since there has been such a hullabaloo about his parole, he first clarified how parole is granted to a prisoner. Later on, he talked about Manita's health, saying he panicked when he heard of her tumor. He also sat down with media and calmly explained his wife's health condition at present, stating that she. she is still under intricate medical examination sher khan rehmani ka dhanda bhi imandari se karta hai aaj se ye haath dost ka hai criminal ka nahi we all know that the actor's family has a sort of a dark history with a dreaded disease and whenever sanjay hears of ill health in his family only the worst thoughts creep into the actor's mind sanjay said he lost his mother nargis and his first wife richa sharma to cancer naturally he worries if he hears that a close family member has taken ill sanjay looked very lean and fragile indeed he says he has lost weight because this time around the prison term is much tougher to handle he is now older and less resilient hi this is isha kopikar chai watching bollywood masala keep watching
Second thing. First and foremost, uh, let me uh, thank everyone, all the doctors, anesthetists, head of departments, and all the friends, including Parul, who's taking the class away now. And uh, Yes, uh, uh, coming straight to the question, I think it's 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 very important that as, as a filmmaker, when you start out making a film, you have to first very carefully choose your subject. And you s choose your subject on the basis of, of certain factors. A, also the subject should reflect the kind of person that you are or your background. Um, that's what cinema is all about. It somewhere reflects your own tastes, your likes and dislikes. Uh, since uh, my father is a doctor and uh, um, I was, I was brought up in, in, a, in, in, a, in a very different atmosphere. I, was, I would keep hearing about uh, different sorts of diseases, ailments. I would see the operations live and I would often see these very uh, different kind of people looking like aliens with masks on their face, moving around, I was later told, uh, were anesthetists. Um, and they have a very important job. They are the ones who sort of make sure that when you're going through a surgery, you don't feel the pain, you are unconscious and all of that. When I started to, to, to make a film, one thing was, was uh, very important that um, the emotional quotient in my film has to be very high. Um, and and, and so, so I chose a story which is very, very different from the rest of the films that you, one has been seeing. Uh, I thought if I if I chose a genre that was very interesting to tell my story, it would be a different kind of an experience for all the audience, especially the Hindi audience uh, who are kind of sick and tired and blasé of the same kind of routine run-of-the-mill films that they have been seeing over the years. And it struck me that anesthesia awareness is, is something that I'd heard of, a medical phenomenon, was very interesting. And it somehow, um, you know, gelled with my story very well. And um, I, I, I realized that it would be um, um, an uphill task to explain people before the film's released what it was all about. But then, you know, taking the easy path, easy route has, uh, has uh, never been my, uh, my forte. Um, um, unless you don't experience something new, something different, I don't think the viewing is going to be that exciting. And, and for that reason, I thought, and as I said that, you know, my father is a doctor, so it was very befitting that I chose something uh, from the uh, medical background. And a romantic medical thriller is something that the Indian audience has never ever witnessed before. So this uh, then became a part of my uh, story. Um, of course, um, uh, there are doctors who would be able to explain to you and the, to the audiences and right now who are watching this uh, interview to be able to know what exactly anesthesia awareness is all about. Um, what I got to know, and if I'm wrong, please correct me, I stand corrected, that, you know, uh, a lot of patients are given general anesthesia before major surgeries. Uh, out of the, the vast majority, they go off to sleep. Um, they are unconscious, but a few of them are not so fortunate. Uh, so what happens to them is that they get trapped in a phenomenon called anesthesia awareness where they are actually conscious but they are bodily paralyzed so they are conscious but you know bodily they cannot move and and so they hear sounds like a normal person who's conscious they start hearing sound they start some of them very rarely though also experience pain and i must also at the very outset say that this is in a space of fiction so we have taken certain cinematic liberties as well to for a more uh, dramatic uh, impact and, and these patients um, are, uh, are in a very frightening state because they can't move and they start experiencing pain and they cannot, even if they want, they cannot scream for help because they are bodily paralyzed. So they are shouting in their head. They think they are shouting, they are not. And, and the surgery goes on. So we will not wish it on the, the worst of our enemies, but this is a fact. Um, and so this uh, is a, an integral part of my film and wherever I have been talking about my film, I have been talking about anesthesia awareness. So I hope that, uh, you know, people have seen different kind, kinds of films and different genres. The, the romantic medical thriller has never been explored before. So I thought uh, this would make for a very, very interesting film. Um, look, um, 
there is no 100% way of preventing it unless you know that the patient is going to be awake or not okay so with the advancement of science and biomedical technology it is becoming increasingly possible to understand whether the patient is awake or not so there are brain monitors for example if you if you look at the data 10 years ago you would say that between 15 to 17% of patients had some form of anesthesia awareness and the awareness is of three types you know one where uh, you are perceiving pain which is fortunately the least which is amongst the amongst the awareness two you are perceiving the touch which is all right because you're not sort of hurting you're not getting hurt the third is your hearing voices and you're actually perceiving everything what is happening around you in the room which is the most frightening one because doctors when they are operating when they are anesthetizing when i am in icu we tend to talk a lot of things you know i might be talking hi how was your day and this guy would be saying you are operating on my heart but and the voices are heard are not necessarily identified as to who is talking so how do we prevent it coming to your question there are brain monitors for there's something called as a bis monitor which has been invented some which is which is a simplistic eeg which dr shetty sort of hinted on it gives you a number you look at the number and you basically try and get them to a number below which we know that the brain has gone to sleep so you increase the depth of anesthesia with that that's the only way follow the correct sequence of medicines when you are giving so human error i think is a big question you know if i give my paralyzing agent first and then i give my anesthetic agent it never happens that way but i'm just sort of for the sake of uh, understanding then obviously you're going to feel paralyzed and trapped and only then you're going to go to sleep so first put the patient to sleep then give them paralyzing agent so these are all sequences which are sort of a part of the anesthesia training and are ingrained into it however you could still have a small number of patients who would be awake despite this first and foremost i plan to quit cocaine and alcohol <laughs> now i'm just kidding but uh, it was it was a frightening experience um, when he had told me about the subject first he said that about anesthesia awareness and then he said ki hamare film mein heart transplant hoga and i was already freaking out and uh, when it came to uh, shooting uh, i remember being in the actual operation theater uh, for 15 hours a day and it used to freak me out ki jis table pe main leta hua hu wahan pe logo ke har roz operation hote hain aur logo ko kaata jata hai mujhe wahan pe letaya gaya it used to freak me out but um, <coughs> it was very difficult to shoot for this film um, you know the, more than that it was the dubbing of the film uh, the the pain and and everything also uh, you know it had to be dubbed in a certain way and that was really difficult and we had to make it look really real so i really hope that when people watch the film and uh, when all the doctors watch the film that, that they 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 feel the pain that i'm going through everybody feels what i'm going through but i just want to ask you how are you guys so cool opening up somebody's chest and 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 looking at the heart because i would i would fail i would fail a couple of times um, i don't know it's it's so freaky because when they put prosthetics on me i fainted 10 times so i can't imagine in reality how it would feel to actually see the heart open and stuff like that um I think I'm actually grateful to Shaker Ji who had given me such role in a brilliant film like this where you can send a message to people about anesthesia awareness. Um it's unfortunate that people go through um uh, anesthesia awareness. It's definitely scary like Adyan had said we were in a real hospital in a real OT room. So uh just being there really uh it makes you feel scary and you know it's tough but um i think i've have uh in the film shakerji had given me a very important strong role and i think everybody actually in the film they all have uh strong roles in 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 the film so uh yeah yaar main bahut zyada excited hu aur excited is baat ka hu ki ek to film release ho rahi hai 7th feb ko aur dusra ki yaar logo ka positive response milna bahut zaruri hai film ke liye aur music to is touch for doing so well और फिल्म के प्रोमोस को लेकर भी लोग बहुत एक्साइटेड हैं और मैं हर घंटे लोगों से सोशल नेटवर्क पे बात कर रहा हूँ मैम टॉक टू दैम ट्विटर पे फेसबुक पे और लोगों से मिल रहा हूँ कॉलेजेस में जाकर और बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है यार आई मीन आई आई रियली होप दैट दैट हार्ट इज लज आई थिंक सबसे ज़्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट ये है कि मेरे कामयाब होने से ज़्यादा ज़रूरी ये है कि फिल्म सक्सेसफुल हो लेकिन बिकॉज जब फिल्म सक्सेसफुल होती है तो हर इंसान जो उससे जुड़ा हुआ है सक्सेसफुल हो जाता है सो आई रियली होप दैट दैट द फिल्म डज वेल या मोर वन ऑफ द टॉप टेन डायरेक्टर्स दैट आर कंट्री इज गोट हैव वेरी सुन ऐसा मुझे लगता है ऐसा मेरा मानना है एज एन एक्टर आई थिंक इतना डिफिकल्ट सब्जेक्ट चूज करना और अपने पहले डेब्यू में डायरेक्टर डायरेक्शन के डेब्यू में एक ऐसी फिल्म बनाना आई थिंक इट्स इट्स कमेंडेबल एंड आई रियली मैं दुआ करता हूँ आशा करता हूँ कि लोग उसे अप्रिशिएट करें no uh, like i've said 
I haven't decided. Uh, I didn't say I'm not going to do films. I said that um, I don't know what I want to do in the future. Like, I didn't know that I was going to actually act, uh, act, that I was going to come to India. I had no idea. So, um, of course, I love trying different things, doing, learning different things. So if I do get an opportunity uh, to do film again, then sure. You know, uh, before even the story, actually, to be honest, uh, when Shekhoji had asked me, um, because I've never done a film before, I, um, you know, knowing Shekhoji, I knew who he was, and uh, I had full belief in him, trust that I can do this, because he believed in me. So, uh, when he had asked me, I said yes without thinking, and then, um, then coming here, uh, when he explained my role in the film, the story, uh, I was so glad that I said yes to him because it's so different and uh, it's it's beautiful all the relationships in the film and it teaches you so much and, and you get to uh, be aware of something or, or if the film is meaningful, uh, it, it's it's wonderful. It's a new genre and it's very important to do new things and 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 to make a film of new things. The film is going to go to four or five emotions, whether it's in the original genre, whether it's an action film or a drama or a comedy or a musical. I thought that a film with emotion is very good, with emotion is very good, with emotion is very good, but how do I make it new? How do I make it new? How do I make it new? Because all of them are aware of these things. And I thought that if it's made a medical thriller, or a romantic medical thriller, it's a romance, but if we change the background, it's a very difficult thing. And when we heard about anesthesia awareness, anesthesia, which is a disease, which is a disease, मरीजों को दी जाती है जिससे बहुत मरीज तो बेहोश हो जाते हैं ऑपरेशन थिएटर में कुछ होश में ही रहते हैं बेहोशी की दवा देने के बावजूद और लेकिन वो बॉडली पैरालाइज हो जाते हैं फिर ऐसे हालात में वो आवाजें भी सुनने लगते हैं और वो दर्द भी महसूस होती है लेकिन वो चिल्ला नहीं पाते क्योंकि वो बॉडली पैरालाइज है आई थॉट ये बहुत एक इंटरेस्टिंग फिनमिन है इसलिए मैंने इसको लेकर बनाया देखिए टॉप टेन हो टॉप हंड्रेड हो टॉप अगर आप अपनी जनता से जुड़ गए और आप अपनी बात कहने में सक्षम हुए तब तो आप एक सफल निर्देशक हैं ये टॉप टेन टू थ्री फोर ये कोई मायने नहीं रखता एक सक्सेसफुल डायरेक्टर होना बहुत ज़रूरी है ताकि आगे जब आप फिल्में बनाएं तो आपको तमाम वो योगदान मिल सके लोगों से जिस किस्म के आप फिल्म बनाना चाहते हैं तो आई एम होपिंग कि एक अच्छी फिल्म बनाई है एक एक मार्मिक फिल्म है एक इमोशनल फिल्म है और एक थ्रिलर भी है साथ में तो ये दोनों का जो मिक्स है पहले नहीं देखा गया एक रोमांटिक इमोशनल मेडिकल थ्रिलर इस तरह का एक जॉनर नहीं देखा गया दो जॉनर मिक्स करके गाने बहुत अच्छे हैं परफॉर्मेंसेज दीप्ति नवल के ओम पुरी के अध्ययन के एरियाना के सबके बहुत अच्छे हैं मदन जैन के इट्स एन अमेजिंग एक्सपीरियंस और मैं आशा करता हूँ कि सात फरवरी को जब ये फिल्म रिलीज़ होगी आप लोग जाएंगे थिएटर में इसे इसे देखेंगे और अगर आपको फिल्म अच्छी लगी तो इसकी सराहना जरूर करिए और बहुत अच्छी लगी तो उठ के तालियाँ जरूर बताइएगा Presenting a 360 degree view of the biggest and the best movie dam. Bollywood Masala brings to you the latest from Bollywood. News. John is extremely excited about this role as it is completely different from what he has done before. Views. I think they are the next superstars. Previews. Sabhi bahut utsukta se intezar karte hain unke har film ka. Mujhe bhi intezar hai. I'm really looking forward to this film. It's going to look fantastic. Interviews. Par se rehte hain ki sab rivalry hai, badtamizi hai, gusse hain, jhagde hain. Genuinely aisa mostly nahi hoga warna kyun this actor kisi aur actor ke film mein aakar kaam kare. Jo kirdar milega wo main kirdar karunga. The glitz and the glamour. The triumphs and the failures, the highs and the lows at the box office, collection figures, film distribution and market analysis, public opinion. Especially it's a Prakash Jha. 
production. I'm, I'm actually interested in uh, Nasruddin Shah's song. I want to see how he acts. Events coverage. Behind the scenes. एक अच्छा मौका मिला मुझे प्रकाश झा के साथ काम करने के लिए क्योंकि मुझे उनकी फिल्में बहुत पसंद है On location. Studio round up. दे दे बहने दे म्यूजिक की लहरों में कोने दे खुद को तू अजनबी चेहरों म्यूजिक एंड मूवी काउंट Hi, I'm Shahrukh Khan. Hi, this is Johnny Ram. Hi, this is Mahesh Bhatt. Hi, this is Aftab Shahdusani. Hi, I'm Ram Hasan. Hi, I'm Amrita Arora. Hi, this is Farah Khan. Hi, this is Arjun Rampal. Hi, this is Shreya Sarpath. Hi, this is Vikram Bhatt. All the viewers, I'm Kangana Rana. Hi, this is Isha Kopikar. Hello, everybody. I'm Samia Reddy. You're watching Bollywood Masala. Bollywood Masala. Bollywood Masala. Bollywood Masala. Bollywood Masala. Keep watching Bollywood Masala. Bollywood Masala. Bollywood Masala. Bollywood Masala. Bollywood Masala. Bollywood Masala. Keep watching. Bollywood Masala. Your gateway to Bollywood. The game's not over. Welcome to Masala Buzz. We bring to you the latest happenings from the world of showbiz. Today's top stories are What did Aditya Roy Kapoor and Shraddha Kapoor fight about? Suraj Barjati has decided to rope in Nargis Fakhri for his next. Amitabh Bachchan will be seen portraying himself in an upcoming film. Khud se hai ya khuda se is pal meri ladai kis mod pe halai aashiqui Aditya Roy Kapoor and Shraddha Kapoor have maintained the age-old status of being good friends, but it seems that Aditya can't hide his possessiveness for his lady love. If rumors are anything to go by, the seemingly just friends ended up feuding over Shraddha's ex recently. A source tells us that Aditya's possessive nature has hit an all-new low. <laughs> And if somebody comes within a 50 meter radius of Shraddha, his radars go off. This time, the bone of contention was Shraddha's proximity with her ex-boyfriend. Unfortunately, we don't have a name yet. The Gujarish actor believes that Shraddha is not yet over her ex, and hence is delaying the public announcement about their relationship. So we hear, we definitely think that the Kapoor kid should take a chill pill and not be so hypersensitive about bygones. After all, Shraddha did choose him over her ex. The makers of Salman Khan's startup Bade Bhaiya were having a hard time to find a suitable heroine for their film. That's one reason why Suraj Bajatia's Bade Bhaiya has been in the news ever since the project was announced. Earlier reports were doing the rounds that Deepika Padukone, Anushka Sharma, Iliana De Cruz and Kareena Kapoor Khan were being considered for the lead role opposite Salman. But now we hear Bajatia has zeroed down on Nargis Fakhri. Apparently the model turned actor is yet to give her nod for the film. If not Nargis has been offered bade bhaiya then we think she should accept it without thinking twice after all the bhai of bollywood has been lucky for most of his leading ladies Though Ms. Fakhri failed to make a mark with her debut film Rockstar, she received rave reviews for her act in the John Abraham star of Madras Cafe. Maybe she managed to impress Bajatia with her performance as well, and that's the reason the filmmaker offered her his next film. Very much possible, we think. We all know Salman's fascination for foreign exports, so it would be interesting to see him romance Nargis. जनता के और बदतमीजी बर्दाश्त नहीं करेंगे हम
Amitabh Bachchan will be seen portraying himself once again on screen. The last time he portrayed himself was in Anurag Kashyap's segment of Bombay Talkies, where the story revolved beautifully around a father's dream to have a bite of the same murabba which Amitabh Bachchan has had. In Ghoom Ketu, he comes to the rescue of a struggling script writer. The story is a satirical take on a writer's struggle to make a mark in the industry. The film, which is being directed by ad filmmaker Pushpendra Mishra, has extended cameos by Anurag Kashyap and Senior Bachchan. Portrayed by Nawazuddin Siddiqui, the struggling film writer script is plagiarized and made into a film by another filmmaker. That's when he knocks on Bachchan's doors for help, who in turn shows his humane nature and comes to his aid. The film is scheduled to release next year. Although it's a completely different ball game portraying oneself, Amitabh Bachchan has always played all his characters with full aplomb. We are sure that he will do justice to his extended cameo just as he does with all other roles. You join me here. Hello, hello. Was that a flattering? Thank you very much. It's a pleasure and thank you very much. Well, I've got a whole different genres of movies and I've always... Before I started writing, I used to always wonder what I would do after I finished shooting, but I know where to come. It's the WITC and ARC and this beautiful piece of uh, um, beautiful real estate that we have here, which I love coming to. I'm uh, my Movie Highway releases on 21st of Feb, uh, which is uh, directed by Intiaz Ali, and uh, it's a great film. And then many more to come. I don't think uh, this is the platform to promote my movie, but yeah. You can go all go watch it and enjoy it. I've got Attila as well. Uh, he's not as nasty as he used to be. He's more like a cow now, more than a horse. Took us a bit of doing, but uh, we've got him under wraps. Well, as the AB just showed, it's uh, been an outstanding relationship. Uh, this is the 30th successive sponsorship by McDowell. Uh, I believe it was in the year 1985 that we first ran the Indian Derby as the McDowell Indian Derby. It was the first mega sponsorship for the club. Of course, we remain extremely grateful to Dr. Malia, who's himself very passionate about the sport. And his magnanimity in renewing the sponsorship a few years ago, for five years, which I believe is a record sponsorship for any sport. And we hope that it is here to stay. So we are delighted, not only because of the money in the race, but because the whole gamut of the weekend, the entertainment, the lifestyle, the media, the fashion, uh, all of it combines to make it a spectacular weekend. And one must select a bottle and the draw will be on that bottle. Bring the action. When you hear this in the club, you gotta turn the shit up. You gotta turn the shit up. You gotta turn the shit up. I wanna scream and shout and let it all out and scream and shout and let it out. We say it no. When you hear this in the club, you gotta turn the shit up. You gotta turn the shit up. You gotta turn the shit up. When we up in the yo, we yo, we yo. We say you know, we yo, we yo, we yo. I wanna scream and shout and let
Ladies and gentlemen, and ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause. This is really, really beautiful. It, it's something that I know I I would love to win. Dada. Trophy and his check. This is one of the first jewels I've ever designed and it was very challenging because it was done in two days and you know I was told that the winning horse is going to be presented this jewel. So I was too excited about it. Oh no, you're not here, I don't know. Somehow, you know, 
the original intention of the book was I am. So I said, uh, you know, I am has to be there. There's no way I'm changing that. Uh, let's add life to it. That's true, you know. I do have I am registered. Uh, only because I want to take it to the people one day in every form. I want people not to ever look at anything I do as Sushmita Sen Productions or Sushmita Sen Clothing. I want everything I do in my life to say I am shoes, I am bags, I am a book. So that anything you do, anything I do towards this, people take it back and say, it's not hers, this is I am, this is about me. Uh, and so I registered it naughtily. But if Shraddha Somi had asked me for it, without a doubt, without batting an eye, in love, we would have had it. But I think she said it, she added life to Aya. There's no better way of putting it. Thank you so much. Fair enough? Fair enough.